The Highland Park Parade shooting, an unfortunate incident that claimed the lives of seven individuals and left many others injured, took place during the Independence Day Parade in Highland Park, Illinois, on July 4, 2022. In this video, we will delve into the details surrounding the shooting, the aftermath, and the broader implications it holds for gun violence in the United States. At 10.14 a.m., the tranquility of downtown Highland Park was shattered as Robert Eugene Crimo III, the shooter, unleashed a barrage of bullets from the rooftop of a local store situated on the northwest corner of Central Avenue and 2nd Street. Armed with a Smith & Wesson M and P-15 semi-automatic rifle equipped with three 30-round magazines, Crimo fired a total of 83 shots. Gaining access to the elevated position, the gunman had utilized an unsecured ladder attached to the Ross Cosmetics building. The victims of the shooting encompassed both spectators and participants of the parade, ranging from 8 to 85 years of age. The wounded were rushed to nearby hospitals, where medical professionals treated them for gunshot wounds, shrapnel injuries, and other traumas. Remarkably, one of the attendees present at the parade demonstrated immense bravery by providing initial medical aid to the injured until first responders arrived. The chaotic shooting spree was brought to a halt when a police officer, responding to the reports of gunfire, engaged in a firefight with Crimo. In an attempt to escape, the shooter fled the scene in his vehicle but was eventually apprehended by law enforcement officers. Tragically, the Highland Park Parade shooting claimed the lives of seven innocent individuals. The victims, whose names will forever be remembered, include Catherine Goldstein, Irina McCarthy, Kevin McCarthy, Stephen Strauss, Jacqueline Sundheim, Nicholas Toledo Zaragoza, and Eduardo Uvaldo. Additionally, numerous others were left injured, their lives forever altered by this senseless act of violence. The shooting garnered widespread condemnation, and it reignited the urgent call for stricter gun control measures. The tragic incident shed light on the urgency of addressing the issue of gun violence in the United States and preventing such heinous acts from recurring. The Illinois State Police faced criticism for their handling of the case. As it was revealed that they had previously investigated Crimo due to his history of making violent threats. This revelation raised concerns about the effectiveness of the existing protocols in identifying potential threats and taking appropriate action. In the wake of the shooting, the Highland Park community came together to commemorate the lives lost. Several memorial events were held, including a community vigil on July 5 and the funeral of Catherine Goldstein on July 8. These gatherings provided solace and support to the grieving families reminding them that they were not alone in their pain. The Highland Park Parade shooting stands as a tragic reminder of the devastating consequences of gun violence. The loss of innocent lives and the profound impact on the Highland Park community reverberate throughout the nation. As we mourn the victims, it is imperative to engage in meaningful conversations and take decisive action to prevent such tragedies in the future. The incident serves as a call to collectively address the issue of gun violence and strive for a safer society.